Okay, this is my first video, YouTube, channel, blog, whatever. No edit, no anything. I don't even know how it works, to be honest with you. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here and make a video for other families that suffer from the rare disease, Huntington's disease. So... My mother has Huntington's D disease, Korea, and she found out in 2009, and we are in 2020. So, at first, she was fine for a couple years, and then it started going downhill. But now, here we are in 2020, and... She's still at home. She has an aide that comes every day and um, a couple hours a day. And um, so she's not in the facility. And that's why I'm making this video. So I don't know if anybody has a loved one still at home in the late stages. She's in a bedridden stage. I know I feel like I've done a walked in the spider web earlier so anyway but um yeah she's in a bedridden stage so when she showers you know she has to have full-on assistance head to toe um sometimes you actually have to fight with her not really physically fight or fight just kind of make the the statement happen it's like take a shower and they come up with every excuse possible on why they can't take a shower and I don't know if it's because they know in their mind they can't get up and they can't move around like they want I don't know so if anybody sees this video and can answer that question please comment below or inbox me um but anyway so, yeah, I'm just sitting here kind of venting from this experience that I had earlier tonight with her. She had my brother message me and say she needed a shower. And like I said, she's in the bedridden stage. So, that's pretty bad. Um, and for her to be at home, because I just feel like her being in the comfort of her own home would be best for her right now. Um, but yeah, it's starting to get to the point where you can't really do anything anymore as far as me, my brother, and the aide. Um, so yeah, it's getting to that point now. But anyway, I'm giving her a shower had to argue about the shower she said she had to use the bathroom I'm like great yes she's in the bathroom I can get her in the shower it took a little while it took about a good I don't know I want to say maybe 30 40 minutes to actually get her in the shower but finally it happened and boy oh boy if anybody is dealing with anything like this if you have a loved one or if you're a nurse whatever you know how hard it is to give someone with Huntington's disease an actual shower and not a sponge bath or anything like that. So, yes, she has a shower chair um, and all of that good stuff. But the thing is, their mood swings progress um, along with their movements and everything else. So, her movements are everywhere. And I'm so, so scared that she's going to fall. And I'm just like, Mom, please, you know, stop. You know, let me help you. And she's trying to do stuff. I don't know if she thinks she can do it. Um, whether it's trying to put her hand on her head and think that that's actually washing her hair. Or... You know, grabbing a scrub brush and trying to sit in a chair and lean over and scrub her feet. Um, 
it just does not work out too well. So yeah, you're trying to do the everything, washer, whoever, and they're leaning over, going here, going there, because it is HD Korea. So, oh boy, tonight has been one hell of a freaking night for me. I kid you not. So now, well, for a little while now, I've been kind of like on the fence about putting her into a facility. But I actually had to go to the doctor today and I had to see my therapist and I talked to my therapist about this um, before the whole shower incident, obviously. But uh, she even, you know, told me that it really is to the point that she needs to be in a facility. And I've known that. And I think a big thing is denial. You go through a stage of denial. You do not want to accept that your loved one is as worse or is as bad as they are and they're getting worse. You, you just don't want to accept it. You don't want to see it. You don't want to deal with it. So, um, yeah. I think that's the biggest thing. But I talked to my therapist earlier. And I, I really, I know she needs to be in the facility. But that is the hardest thing. And that's why I'm making this channel. To talk about it. It's like a blog, diary, whatever you want to call it. And, um, I just don't know how to deal with this whole, you know, nursing home, you know, getting her into somewhere that actually has the right treatment. Because in the state that I'm in, there is no facility in the whole entire state that actually specializes in Huntington's. And she wants to go to Florida, but I can't find anywhere in Florida. So we are originally from New Jersey and they have a facility there that actually specializes in Huntington's. So, um, and her brother has Huntington's as well and he is there. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe that's where she can go, but that's the hard thing right now. So I would definitely make another video, invent some more. But um, yeah, tonight has been very stressful. And then trying to deal with the whole thing. I mean, goodness gracious, it is so, so crazy. But yeah, I have two siblings. I'm the youngest. And um, I have a middle sibling. He doesn't ever do anything for her he doesn't come by he doesn't see her nothing now my oldest sibling he had came up and um he's there with her whenever i'm not there and he makes sure she eats and i do all the showers and things like that and um check in with the aid and you know all that good stuff so i'm i'm her caregiver and i'm the youngest one and i'm the black sheep and I'm like, damn, really? It's just so much. But, like I said, I will keep you guys updated on how my day is going. And this is going to be like my venting diary, blog, whatever. So, if anyone out there is dealing with anyone that has Huntington's disease or Huntington's disease Korea, juvenile Huntington's, um, just know that you are not alone. <laughs> there is someone else dealing with similar things if not the same things so i hope this helps somebody um even if it's just me i hope this helps me but um you don't have to subscribe you don't have to like whatever if it helps you it does but i will keep you guys updated on how everything goes all right